Picture four. The non-rigid rotor picture. In the rigid rotor, we assume that the internuclear distance does not change during rotation. However, the centrifugal forces stretch the bones longer and hence increase the moment of inertia I and hence lower the energy spacing. Hence, ER is equal to BJ into J plus 1 minus D into J into J plus 1 close bracket squared. D is the centrifugal distortion constant. The term D into J into J plus 1 all squared only becomes important at high values of J. At lower values, the deviations from rigid rotor model is small. That means the spacing is now 2B minus 4D. Centrifugal distortion continued. For the transition J to J plus 1, the energy difference, delta ER, is equal to 2B into J plus 1, close, minus 4D into J plus 1 cubed. That implies delta ER over J plus 1 is equal to 2B minus 4D into J plus 1 squared. Delta E is an experimentally measured quantity. A plot of delta ER versus J plus 1 all squared is linear. The intercept is 2B and the slope is 4D. Hence, we can find I from B equals H over 8 pi squared I. Then R, the internuclear distance for a diatomic molecule. A heterotriatomic molecule is considered now. For a molecule with three different atoms, like we have here, we will have R1 and R2, which will be different. We can experimentally obtain B. Proceed to find R1 and R2 by the method of isotopic substitution. Then we assume that R1 and R2 do not change when we substitute. But now, the center of gravity has changed, hence I will change. Consider the oxygen carbon sulfur 32 and oxygen carbon sulfur 34, where we substitute sulfur 32 with sulfur 34. Here, there is the oxygen. There is the R1 to the carbon, and then from carbon to sulfur 32 or 34, we have R2. We have different values of B1 and B2. Suppose that C and D are isotopes of an atom, and D is the heavier one, just as we have seen. Then we have the A, atom A, atom B, atom C in the first molecule, and then atom A, atom B, and atom D in the second molecule. Here now, in the first molecule, the center of gravity of the system is there, whereas when we introduce a bigger molecule, the center of gravity of the molecule now shifts to there. Okay. Now, for molecule ABC, we can write IABC is equal to MAA squared plus MBB squared plus MCC squared, call that equation 1. For ABD, using the theory of parallel axes, IABD becomes capital MABD D squared, which is equal to MAA squared plus MBB squared plus MCC squared where MA, MB, MC are the atomic masses 
and MABD is the mass of the molecule ABD. That therefore means MABD is equal to MA plus MB plus MD. That's equation three. Taking moments for each molecule, MAA plus MBB is equal to MCC, that's equation four, and MA into A plus D plus MB into B plus D is equal to MD into C minus D. That's equation five. And after going through all the algebra, we end at D into MA plus MB plus MD is equal to capital MABD D, which is equal to MDC minus MAA minus MBB. That's equation six. From equation four and equation six, we have MABD is equal to MDC minus MCC, and D is equal to MD minus MC multiplied by C all over capital MABD. That's equation seven. Substituting into equation two for D, we have IABD, that's the moment of inertia of ABD, is equal to MAA squared plus MBB squared plus C squared into MD minus, open bracket, MD minus MC, close bracket squared, all over MABD. That's equation number eight. Subtracting 8 from 1, we have IABC minus IABD. That's the difference between the two moments of inertia. Is equal to C squared into MC minus MD plus, open bracket, MD minus MC, all squared, over MABD. That's equation 9. IABC and IABD are obtained experimentally from pure rotational spectra. The isotopic masses are known. C can be obtained, therefore. From equation 4, we have A is equal to MCC minus MBB all over MA. Now, substituting this in equation 1 gives B squared into MAMB plus MB squared, close bracket, minus 2MCMB CB plus, open bracket, MAI ABC plus, open bracket, M squared C plus MA MC, close bracket, times C, close the major bracket, is equal to naught. This is a quadratic equation in B. It can be solved to find B and hence A. From this point, we can proceed to find the bond length of ABC, bond length of AB is A minus B, and the bond length of BC is B plus C. As a substitution continued, the more complicated the molecule is, the more isotopic substitution will be required. In order to calculate molecular parameters, like center of gravity, we require the knowledge of bond angles for complex molecules. Here is an assignment worth trying. The microwave absorption of nitrogen oxide and O show lines at the following wave numbers 3.4 not 5 per centimeter, 6.810 per centimeter, 10.215 per centimeter, and 13.620 per centimeter. Calculate the bond length. This could be submitted in the next lecture. Or try it out and then look at the solution which is given below here. Now, how do we do it? The allowed rotational energy levels of a rigid rotor are given by E, e of j is equal to h squared over 8 pi i j into j plus 1. For a transition between j and j plus 1, the wave numbers new bar is delta ej over hc which is equal to b into j plus 1 again open bracket j plus 2 minus b into j plus 1 which is equal to 2bj plus 1 
The separation between successive levels is 3.405 per centimeter. That means B is equal to 3.405 over 2 per centimeter, or B is equal to 1.7025 per centimeter, which is equal to h over 8 pi squared IC. That means I then is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34, all over 8 pi squared times the speed of light 2.998 times 10 to 8 times 1.7025 times 10 squared kilogram meter squared and that gives us 1.644 times 10 to the minus 46 kilogram meter squared. The moment